And we now move back into the stadium for our next event on the track, which is event 94, the women's 100 metre hurdles open. In lane three from Old Devarians, Ellie McClendon. In lane four from Athletics Chilwell, Abby Badrock. In lane five, Australian junior representative from Ringwood Athletic Club, Danielle Shaw. In lane six from Box Hill Athletic Club, Rachel Lindbergh. In lane seven from Melbourne University, Kira Davey. And in lane eight from Athletics Essendon, Zara Kecker. Shaw with an aggressive start, but Lindbergh is right next to her. Lindbergh, in fact, at hurdle three, is giving every battle as she can to Danielle Shaw. Danielle Shaw pushes away at five. It'll be Danielle Shaw now just a stride in front. Lindbergh in second. Badrock third. Davies and McClendon and also Kekka closely followed behind. But 14.32 unofficially with a minus point one. Who would have guessed it? But Danielle Shaw had to work hard there to beat Rachel Lindbergh. We said on the live stream call here, Rachel's been in great shape. Over the sprint hurdles this season, Danielle Shaw takes an open state title. Well, you picked it, Danielle Shaw. What I like is the competitive nature and the pushing in, in, in these events, even though they're, they're small fields. The fact that Danielle Shaw had to really work hard in the back half of that race, and she certainly showed she's in great form. Oh, look, uh, the one that surprised me the most about it was that Lindbergh was actually with her for the first three. I yep. thought, if anything, Lindbergh was going to come through the middle. Danielle Shaw's got an impressive 100 metre PB. Rachel's probably, that's the thing she's been working on is speed. Um, certainly not as strong over the flat as Danielle, but gee, she was aggressive to hurdle number one. Tony Marsh must know what he's doing. We've joked at it, Box Hill, he doesn't know how to coach technical events, but he's doing some really good work with her. 